Welcome to the webinar. My name is Lori Burns, and I am an NSCC EAL Support Specialist. In this webinar, we will be talking about language learning strategies, and specifically about language learning strategies for reading. At the end of the webinar, there will be some resources that will help you continue to improve these skills. Our objectives for this webinar are to discuss language learning strategies for reading, explore language learning strategies, and explore available resources and supports. Learning strategies are strategies we use when learning any skill or topic. They help you gain information and keep it. Language learning strategies also include things like being organized, planning out your appointments, and keeping a schedule, understanding why you are doing something, participating in class, and class discussions. Here are some effective learning strategies to use when studying at NSCC. There are many methods we can use to improve learning. Some of these include using a calendar or planner to help you keep tracks of dates and be organized. Visuals can also help with memory if you find images helpful. It is important to take notes in class. Ask for supports if you need it. Take breaks when you are overwhelmed and make sure to reward yourself for a job well done. You did it, good for you. Make sure to practice new skills and language. It is important to read in English as much as you can. It does not matter what you read as long as you are reading. It could be novels, magazines, newspapers, online articles, graphic novels, or textbooks. Try to read about topics that interest you and about new topics. Reading will help you learn more vocabulary, understand English grammar, and learn new language. Attend workshops if you can. Participating in NSCC webinars and workshops will help you continue to strengthen your English language skills, learn new vocabulary, and meet others. Remember, practicing English is the best way to strengthen your language skills. Learn skimming and scanning skills. These can help you look for important information quickly. Skimming involves reading quickly for the main ideas and general information. You would use a rapid side-to-side -side eye movement. Skimming will help you find the gist or main idea of the text. You are not looking for any details. Skimming is good to use when looking for a book or proofreading a chapter or reviewing after detailed reading. Scanning means looking for specific pieces of information. You know what you are looking for before even starting the reading. Scanning is often used in academic research. Scanning requires you to move your eye in a zigzag pattern. You should know what you are looking for before you start scanning. Try to always use an English to English dictionary to help you understand words you don't know. This will help you understand the function of the word. For example, is it a noun, a verb, and understand how it is used in a sentence, etc. Finally, prepare for a new topic in advance by reading beforehand or thinking about what you know about it and doing a quick internet search. Try to think about vocabulary that you might not know about the topic, questions you might have, and any other information you think of. This will help your brain prepare for the new material you're learning and reading about. If possible, talk about what you read with others. If you are reading for class, perhaps you can discuss with your classmates. Forming study groups can be a great way to learn and share information with one another. Ask questions about things you don't understand. There are no stupid questions. Talk to your faculty and classmates to help make sure you understand what you're reading. You can also book one-on-one -on -one appointments with an EIL support specialist if you would like some extra help with reading in English. Look for bolded, underlined, and italicized words. These are probably that way for a reason and might point out some important information. Information is sometimes emphasized in text this way. Your faculty may also do this on PowerPoint slides too. 
Usually, it means that the information is extra important. It is a great idea to keep a journal of new words you learn and refer back to them. This is called a vocabulary journal. You can also use a graphic organizer to help you learn and think about new words. Visit the link on the screen for more information on vocabulary building skills, including graphic organizers. This is an example of a graphic organizer you could use when you learn a new useful word. It can be helpful to help you remember the word. This graphic organizer helps you to think about a word and its synonyms, words that have the same meaning, and antonyms, words that have different meaning. It also gives you space to write your own definition of the word, what part of speech it is, noun, verb, adjective, adverb, which can help you understand the word and remember it better. If there is a word that is important for you to know, this is a great way to help you remember it. Write your own sentence in a way that is meaningful to you. Thank you for listening to the webinar. If you need further clarification or to practice these skills, please book an appointment with an EAL support specialist. Resources and references will now follow. There are many available resources for NSCC students. Please take some time to explore them. Visit the NSCC EAL page to view the schedules for upcoming EAL webinars, to book an appointment with an EAL support specialist, and to use the EAL guide for additional resources to help increase your language learning. You can find all of these resources on the Learning Supports Connect page and link on the screen. Connect is NSCC's internet and requires your NSCC W number and login.